Assalamu alaikum dear learners, welcome to your English lesson for today. In today's lesson, we are learning about homophones. Our value of the month is courage, which means to do the right thing even when it is difficult and to be brave when necessary. At the end of the lesson, we are going to review what is a homophone and we are going to create sentences to show the different homophones. Our theme for the week is classroom management. Now before we get started with the lesson, it is time to warm up. Now you can pause this video and go back to the main PowerPoint to watch the video about homophones. Our key vocabulary for today are homo which means the same and phone which means sound. So homophone means words that have the same sound. For the lesson, you will need to take out your copy book and your pencil. Now let's get started with our lesson about homophones. What is a homophone? A homophone is a word that sounds the same as another word, but its spelling or meaning is different. So you'll have two different words. They will be spelt differently. They will mean different things, but they sound the same, like peace and peace. Now, can you see the spelling is different? Now you are going to identify that both have a different meaning. So this word peace means I just want one piece of cake. It is an amount, so how many? This word peace, I just want some peace and quiet. This word peace is about a feeling, so how you would like to feel. Here's another example. Male and male, they sound the same. They are spelt differently and they mean different things. The first word male, is a man. We have a new male teacher. The second word male is a letter. The postman delivered the mail. Now here's a quick quiz to check your understanding. So let's take a quick quiz to see if you are an, ex an expert. Which homophone is the correct word to complete this sentence blank coming to my party so which word will i use whose or whose now if you remember whenever i add an apostrophe it means i'm taking a letter away so this is who is whose i am trying to find out who the thing belongs to so who an object belongs to so which word do you think I will use? Mm, coming to the party. Amazing! Who's? Who is coming to my party? Well done! Good job! Here's the second example. I'm still waiting for the mm to be delivered. Now remember, the first word mail is letters or something that is given to you from a postman. The second word mail is a man. I'm still waiting for the m to be delivered. Good job, well done. The first word mail because these are objects that can be delivered to you. Now let's look at the third example. All I want is a bit of m mm and quiet, screamed mum. So this is a feeling, this is something that the mom wants to feel. So will I use the first word piece or the second word piece? Now remember the first word piece is a slice of something. So it's an amount of an object, how many I will have. The second word piece is a feeling. Amazing, the mom wants to feel peace. So I will use the second spelling, good job. Now look at each of the words below. Can you correctly spell its homophone? So I have the word break, groan, and seen. 
you can pause the video to write down your answers. Amazing! This is how you spell the second word break. This is how you spell the second word grown. And this is how you spell the second word seen. Amazing work! Now, as you can see, these are homophones. They are spelt differently. They mean something different, but they sound the same, like break and break, grown and grown, seen and seen. Amazing work! Now, here's a challenge that is just right for you. You can choose the example that you would like to do. Now we have come to the end of our lesson for today. You can pause this video and go back to the main PowerPoint to complete the Google form. Now amazing work for today. I hope you understood the work that we learned. I will see you in the next lesson inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.